So another quick video, one someone which you see the uh, here, uh, KC Lee actually asked me, he has a stock Anario Platinum with the i2 11 speed with a 38mm wheel set lah. And he, he find climbing very nice, but he find it very difficult to maintain 38km per hour or to push above 38km per hour. And also someone uh, did message me as well, you know, do you need to hit 40 km per hour to hit the first 100 km? So this is uh, my take. Uh, how to ride 40 km per hour above. Uh, <laughs> I also myself struggle, to be perfectly honest with you. But I think uh, I already covered most of it on how to ride 100 km. Uh, basically, if you look at the, the card above, uh, how to hit 100 km, how to do 100 km, right? But today I'm going to cover besides all the standard stuff or bike fit this and that uh, there are other things that is important uh, if you want to really do 40 km per hour uh. and this is my my version uh, my point of view might not work for you you know you might have your personal point of view feel free to comment below but this is my point of view uh. if you are someone who are who is trying to hit don't say 38 km per hour above 35 km per hour this is my take most bikes can do it one most bikes uh, is is really matter of your training. Number one, I think is your physical training uh, If you train yourself enough, uh, honestly speaking, anybody can hit forty km per hour. Is how is is who can hit fifty km per hour above? Those are real professional riders. But for amateurs like us, uh, normally forty km per hour is doable. One, it's just the amount of training you do. So like for me, you all know, I do two times a week indoor trainer. Uh, so those help as well to maintain that forty km per hour. Um, then of course the second thing if your training is correct your bike fit is correct the biggest enemy when you want to sustain 35 km per hour for me personally i always feel is is not your weight it's really aerodynamics uh if you want to sustain a certain speed aerodynamic help like you need to hold on the on, on the drops right you need to keep your body thin and small right and you need to have a very uh, smooth pedaling action Right. Uh, then of course, your helmet, your jersey, you know what you carry in your bag, in your bike, everything. All those helps for you to sustain a higher speed. Aerodynamic, it, uh, it really helps. Then after that, of course, there's no trick to it. Uh, like I mentioned, training is important, but the no, the, the the easier way is of course having the right friends. Uh. Uh, honestly speaking, I, I I was never fast and I'm not fast, but because uh, ever since I started riding with Lionel. Marcus, Chua, Tong, all these riders, right, who are so strong, right? Because of them, uh, our group also now ride frequently at flat at about 40 km per hour because of uh, increase or so, so, don't forget. Right? All these people are very strong train head. If you get to join the right group uh, who have strong train head, uh, naturally your speed will progress on because you are behind them, uh, you're drafting behind them, uh, right? Uh, and once you have the right friends, right? I think if you talk about bike upgrades, uh, <coughs> There's really nothing much you can upgrade on your bike to go faster. Really, one. Um, does an aero bike help? Yes. But aerodynamics of a bike probably represents 20% of your total body. Or maybe 30%. Right? Your, your body is the main aerodynamic floor. Your helmet, your body. Because you're the biggest size on the bike, right? Then, if you talk about your frame, uh, frame will probably contribute, definitely. Um, but I will say... If you talk about bike upgrades, uh, you want to sustain a certain speed, uh, definitely um, not OSPW, uh, <laughs> not group set. Uh, I think the important one would be wheel set. 38mm wheel is way too shallow for me, 32, 38. Anything below 40mm is way too shallow for me. I feel a good aerodynamic wheel set needs to start at 42mm all the way to 50mm. Uh, for all rounder lah, okay. So like my wheel set is forty two mm with a carbon spoke. Those my mine is very aerodynamic already, right? But for me, it starts at forty two mm, all the way to fifty mm. Anything above fifty mm is a bit too, too, too heavy for me. I feel a a, a more practical all rounder wheel set for most of us is a wheel set. You know, if you are worried about aero wheels cannot climb, right? To be honest, it's false. You know, aero wheels can climb. Is the weight of the wheel will determine whether you can climb or not. You know the rotational wheel, where you know you have your hub in the middle and your wheels at your, your wheels outside, right? If your hub is heavier than your outer wheel, uh, you don't have that momentum. Uh, it's easy to spin, 
But if your outer wheel is, is heavier, right, you have the kinetic stored energy, but it's harder to spin. But overall, uh, cutting all those away, I think end of the day, it's just in a layman term, I feel that a wheel set should be at around 1.5 kg below. And between 42 mm to 50 mm is a good wheel set for all rounder, where you can go for climbing and flat road easily. I'm uh, not say easily lah, it's still your legs are right, but it's, it, it helps ah. So like for me, I'm using a Zentis Mark 3 SL lah. It's a 1.4, kg wheel set with 42 mm uh, depth and carbon spoke. I feel that's the perfect all rounder. I can sustain speed and I can climb because it's light. Um, but if you buy any carbon wheel set that is like 50 mm above ah, and the weight is about 1.6 kg ah, you need to have the legs right. So KC Lee, based on your setup of the T8 mm profile and also I think number one is your training. Your bike is okay. Uh, join the right group of friends who can pull you above 40 km per hour. And after that, if you want to upgrade, I think I will upgrade the wheel set to at least around 42 to 50 mm. Lah. But don't buy wheel set that's above 1.5 to 1.6 kg lah, if can. Because those will definitely, uh, uh, it's a bit harder to climb. Lah. Right, if you want an all-rounder wheel, but on flat, heavier wheels is better. You can sustain the speed easier, but you need to pump up. The pickup is slower. Lah. So yeah, this is how I think you, it will help you if you want to hit a uh, higher speed on the bike. And do it on flat roads uh, with wind blowing at the back also helps a lot. But generally, let's talk about yourself. I think a, a deep wheel, your aero position, your training, and join the right friends are the way to go uh, if you want to hit a certain speed. Very simple, how to hit a, uh, a good average speed. <laughs> training lah, kaki lah, your leg is most important lah. So that's all guys, um, that's my point of view. And of course, oh one last thing, if you do get an aero bike, it will help also lah. But an aero bike with a shallow wheel lah, it'll still be crap, right? You need to have a combination of everything lah. So I hope this video helps again, smash the, share, uh, the, the like button and subscribe me. Uh, and feel free to drop me more questions. You know I'll try to answer all of you uh, as much as I can. Uh. Okay, so that's all you guys. Take care and God bless.